So, here we go again with the murderers and punks of the Norwegian police here in Egypt. Yeah, well. Well, I don't know where should I start from, but um, well, first of all, if you do have any information regarding Russia or Iran, please, please, please just share this information if you think it's valuable. Because I am dealing with the murders of the Norwegian police in here, yeah? And apparently they just, um, they have the money to just to spend, basically. They have the resources to silence me, right? Um, yeah. Um, those murders just uh, keep cooking me alive, basically, by the microwave, energy weapons, the, you know, the gang stalking. Oh, it's not the gang stalking, it's just the fucking police putting, you know, putting my name in the community and, you know, the neighbors and, you know. Like, they does that all the fucking time and then they call it, oh, mentally ill, you know, but, you know, it's covert operation. It's, it's just covert murder, you know, basically by the Norwegian police. So that's uh, that's one part. Now um, here's the other part. Um, family members. Um, I'm not sure how should I approach that if I'm going to talk about it, you know. Um, but you know, they those motherfuckers. They just you know will violate a family member. Then um, you know by the directed energy weapons. They just you know amplify the anger you know the anger emotions you know which um, which i get why why so many people get strokes and all of that out of the you know out of the torture because you know they just basically kicking people alive you know they just torture people you know so um so yeah um that's that's you know the the main thing in here because you know, when they torture family members, they just let me know that they are torturing them, you know. And the, the ship police who thinks themselves as, you know, um, I have no words for them to describe them other than being murdered. You know, I, do, I don't have that other words for it because they are literally murderers, like literally, you know. So... Those shit murders of human beings. Uh, what they do, you know, the divide and conquer. Um, you know, there is this divide and conquer tactic. It's military tactic, where if there is a force or it's just you know an enemy, which in this case me and my family members, who has a father of sixty-four years old and a mother of sixty, we are the enemies of the Norwegian government. Can you can you just imagine, you know? Um, so, so you know they have the divide and conquer where, you know they divide and separate my family members from each other, you know because if we are together, well, that means that we are strong, you know. But if you just take one person at a time, if you isolate them from each other, and you, then you just get that one and then get that one and then get that one you know you are just basically you just you know divide that but like the enemy power which in this case it's us and then you just you know finish this person or finish that that member of the family member and then finish that member of the family member and then you know that's why you know people always like in norway when they are talking about you know the covert torture of the norwegian police they always mention the Oslo organized community because they are dealing with the fucking gangs you know now a gang well I can understand the gang are young people who are like you know in the 30s 40s or maybe 20s you know and then you know they have guns they have drugs they have you know all the assets that could make them a gang right now they have to you know divide and conquer basically we, I can understand that, you know, but when it's a family, I just can't understand that, 
you know and they are just coming like you know after me as a person and then to justify it they are coming after me as a person they have to torture my family members you know that's what the Norwegian police does now you know I wouldn't I wouldn't talk much about the Egyptian police because you know they are known punks for the you know foreign governments basically you know um, so I wouldn't I wouldn't even talk about them you know um, there's not much to say about them in this situation and mainly because as well the um, you know um, um, most of the tortures happen in or most of the torture happens by the hands of the Norwegians right so I, I wouldn't complain about them you know they are just you know known punks as they are or um, at least those who are involved in this operation you know I'm not of course I'm not just generalized um, but yeah uh, they are actually just uh, you know it's a takedown operation but the takedown operation starts from you know like literally every members or like every member of my family members you know that's what what i mean by take down operation you know but again um as i mentioned before um um i know they are just pushing me for suicide I know that uh, I know they are murderers, I know that. Uh, I know that they can use the, you know, excessive force, which is, you know, in the form of a gun, and, you know, they have the, the guns, and they have, you know, and they have the microwave energy weapons, and they actually threatened me, threatened me to kill my father, and they threatened me to kill my mother. Uh, actually, they didn't threaten me to kill my they, they were gonna kill my mother, but they have threatened me to, that they want to kill my father, you know? And, you know, I'm living, like, daily by the threats of, you know, you are going to go to, like, you are going to, you know, uh, jail, you will be uh, dead, you will be, you know, and those, like, those uh, threats are coming from individuals, you know. Now, if you go to the fucking ship police and you just told, tell him that, you know, he will just, like, you know, a simple question will be, how does this person knows you to tell you something like that? You know, if you then say it's the police who does that, he will tell you, well, no, we cannot do that, you know. It's, it's, it's in the same, like, you know, when they are the guard and the oppressor, it, that's the main issue. That's the main issue. Or when they are so-called protective, or the protection, and they are at the same time the oppressor, well, it's just, it's, 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 it's a lost game, you know, it's a lost war, basically, for me. At least you know it's lost war you know because I am under the you know I'm supposed to be like in Egypt at the moment you know and I'm not getting any protection I'm just getting the threats and the threats and you know violent threats and everything I'm just getting the whole fucking thing you know but again uh, as I said, I know that they are pushing me for suicide and murder. Now, if anything happens, well, I have put, I'm, I'm putting these videos basically online with my own voice so that when something happens, you know, there is a fucking document that says, I have said that the fucking police have done this and has done fucking that. That's what I'm basically fucking saying, you know? Because if it's going to go for a murder, or like if they are going to go for a murder, or if they're going to go for assault, or if, they, if they're going to go to, you know, just push me for suicide or homelessness, well, I am saying it's the fucking Norwegian police. I'm not fucking, uh, you know, a known bitch wouldn't make a difference for me, you know? Or known punks, they wouldn't just make a difference for me. You know, but to be in a fucking another country, which it, it's supposed to have, like you know, sovereignty, or I don't know how you say this word in English, but uh, supposed to have, you know, uh, some form of um, some form of um, of uh, I don't know individuality. I don't know. I don't know sovereignty. I don't know. It's like 
you know, they have their own, you know, judicial system or, or judicial system, I think, I don't know. And um, this happens to me on your ground, well, I mean, what are you? You know, that's like a legitimate question, you know? That's a fucking legitimate question, you know? So those are the punks of the Norwegian police and um, those are the murderers of the Norwegian police um, so yeah, uh, if anything happens to me in the future well uh, let that be known that uh, it's the Norwegian police because what I'm going through at the moment um, when they torture my family members in Norway and I have my family members here in Egypt uh, being tortured and then I'm having like, you know, um, I'm having uh, the death threats and everything, so, well, if anything happens, well, it's, it's home, and, you know, um, and, you know, uh, you know, um, it's on and then, you know, shit happens, and the murderers of the police will have to get, you know, have to get you know their um, um, will have to get their parts to you know because I mean um, I'm not gonna die in silence and uh, they're aiming for that but that's not going to happen in a hundred years it's not going to happen you know if you're already just um, having an execution order by the fucking Norwegians and you're doing it for the fucking Norwegians and you just deny me any fucking, you know, form of, you know, defending my fucking self. Well, it's not gonna be in silence, you know. I'm, I'm better dead, you know. It's not gonna be done in silence. But, uh, um, so let's see what's going to happen in the future. But what I'm saying is this. Um, I'm having it bad. I'm having it... Um, maybe in my voice, you know, you will not feel that anger because... I, at this moment they just you know drop everything when i'm just going to talk you know because they just cooking me alive when i'm not just making any videos or many like if i'm not making anything they will just you know just keep torturing me like once i just start to make a video and once i start to talk what they gonna do the fucking punks they just drop everything down you know i'm having the the so-called relief feeling that like you know there is no pressure in my ears there is no pressure in my head there is no pressure in, on my stomach you know and now I feel okay again, you know? So those are the punks and the murders of the Norwegian police. Um, so, so let's see what will happen in the future.